Well, if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan, you probably heard about the miracle in Minneapolis. A 61-yard touchdown pass from uh, Case Keenum to Stephon Diggs. Ten seconds left. Oh, boy. We had snow yesterday in the Minneapolis area, and that clipper is now making its way into the Ohio Valley. We have winter weather advisories in place there. Uh, one to three inches of snow will be possible, but that same cold air is going to be splashing down through the southern U.S. where winter storm warnings have been posted. We do expect some snow and ice concerns yet through tomorrow, uh, even across parts of Texas and the Gulf Coast states. So we'll be tracking that. We'll be tracking the cold air, another surge of that Arctic air uh, this week, and west rain chances building back in. But here's a look at the winter weather concerns from the Great Lakes to the Ohio Valley and again down into the southern U.S. Snow and ice concerns will be found even into southern portions of Texas uh, later on today and tomorrow. But again, the snow is not necessarily all that heavy. It's just, again, uh, dealing with that wintry weather that will muck up some commutes here over the next couple of days. Even into portions of the eastern U.S., we're seeing some snowfall accumulations and also across the high elevations out west. So there's your storm system. It's kind of a cutoff low. It's traveling to the south. Prolonged chances of snow through the Ohio Valley. And then look at that colder air settling south throughout parts of Texas, the warm Mississippi Valley, the Gulf Coast states. will have periods of snow and ice with that even down in the southern portions of Texas uh, Monday into Tuesday before that snow kind of travels off to the east. Meanwhile, we'll have another surge of uh, Pacific moisture rolling into the western U.S. Uh, looking at some one, one and a half inch uh, liquid tallies for Portland, Seattle. Certainly some heavier tallies will be possible as well in some local areas. Temperatures here again east of the Rockies starting to really chill down. We're talking 20 to 30 plus degree below average temperatures here today. Some single digit above and below uh, zero temperatures and again that colder air is going to be settling south as that storm system pushes south. So tomorrow will be much colder across much of the nation.